first player in the elo ranking versus third player in the elo ranking does it need more hype than this two former wgl champions clashing it is one of the most hyped matches that you can get in Warcraft 3. Thank you also to CGM GMM 2006 20 month resub. Yay! Thanks for streaming, Neo. It is indeed my pleasure to bring you this game. And with that, we kick things off and we enable the sound. Hopefully, it's working. Gotta adjust a little bit. What's Lin style? We've seen new adjustments from orcs all over the meta is it blade master is it fastier the first answer here on az is that it is a fastier on this map blade master hardly playable but we'll see if this stays this way throughout the series we got seven maps and they are of course very very different what is lin's shape he wasn't able to compete in AWL due to uh, scheduling reasons in the round of eight. So hopefully he had some time to prepare for this and wasn't all busy. Happy starting with the DK and ghouls. Of course, that is the meta. And this is a quick start to level two. Gloves of haste as well. More ghouls is exactly what we expect. If uh, sound isn't right, please guys let me know. I try to adjust everything as good and fast as possible. Can you please also tell the people that this is happening right now? Because Daylight Savings Time ended, so this is an hour earlier here in the European time zone than many would probably expect. So spread the word, use your voice and spread it across your discords and social medias because no Warcraft fan should miss this match. Lots of ghouls rushing over, happy about to contest this Taskmaster. Who's gonna get it? Hoo -hoo -hoo. The chain lightning was a little premature, but he got the last hit anyway. Thanks to the wolves. Grunt almost surrounded by happy. Let us weather this ghoul storm. But so far, happy pulls back, even denies the skeleton. This is what it's about. This is about every point of experience. This is about every inch of the map. And so far, Lin is able to contest this, but Happy is also preventing Lin from getting level 3 at this very camp here on Amazonia. We, by the way, have the ping equalizer enabled, so both players are playing on the very same condition, roughly like below 100, I'd say. That was the case yesterday against Fly with perfect conditions. Both players here at 92. Shout out to Fluxu, who once again brings this technology that, uh, yeah, is it's just a dream. It's just a dream. So off we go. The big fight. Ghouls are falling, but also ghouls are able to connect to these headhunters. So far, two ghouls down. That's the third one. Lin spreads the headhunter to the left-hand side, to the right-hand side. Insane micro by both players. But I think this exchange goes in favor of Lin, who wasn't able to creep this spot. But if you can kill a couple of ghouls early on, that's, of course, your level three. A player's forces are under attack. And I'd give Lin an edge here. Yes, Headhunter, this one might be falling too. But it's a deny, so at least it's not happy leveling up. We got a tier 3 tech. We got a Shadowhunter second to support this greedy and rushed tier 3. Happy stays on tier 2 for the time being. He has the resources. Wonder what this is about. Dark Ranger second and we go Headhunter hunting. Oh, he's not? Okay, he tried, uh, or he just checked the shop to see if Lin was there, greedily creeping something, but uh, uh, it's all about the golem. And it's all about the level. Happy is checking every single spot on the map. This one can't be coiled. Last hit goes to Lin. Scroll the beast. Amazing item for later. But maybe he did not expect the Dark Ranger. Maybe he did not expect this push. The tech for Lin is miles ahead but of course due to the nature of having tavern hero versus ultra hero this is a bit of a power spike but lin is dodging these power spikes but he ain't no dodging this beautiful block 
by happy. That is a hex. That is a speed scroll. That is a save. Dude, Lin is showing up in form. Headhunter numbers are still rather low. Thanks to Happy, that's also level 3 for the Emperor, for the Arcadia World Series winner. Once again, without dropping a single map. And maybe this is a bit too much by now. This is a lot of skeletons. The heal self is getting cancelled. Lin is taking more and more losses. And the healing gets cancelled by that skeleton. That's once again 30 gold for a heal self. Ghoul is falling too. It's about Shadowhunter. Only 40 XP. That's not too much. And Lin's forces. What's happening with Lin's forces? But what is happening in Happy's base? You gotta wonder. This Farsia, not part of the defense. It's all Shadowhunter. And there's quite some damage done over here already. That's an Acolyte down. That's Ghouls down. That's a Slaughterhouse prevented. And this is basically a base race. To a degree. Is it not? Oh, Happy miscalculating the damage here. Grunt is still saved. And the Farseer is diving in deep. He got almost an entire level. Wonderful play by Lin. Going for that counter-aggression that we've seen before when they played each other in Show Cup. They're on Twisted. But this time, it works out a lot better. For the Korean living in China. Supply, lead, level, lead. Big problem though. Farseer level. Uh, Shadowhunter level, I guess. And that is yet another kill. 0.6, or almost 0.6 on the Dark Ranger, but Havoc reeks, I would say. What an interesting dynamic. Farsia in trouble, has to TP with that. The Hex aggression with Headhunters is basically over. Let's take a look. Lin gets further and further and further ahead when it comes to experience, but experience isn't everything. It's also about gold and resources, and thanks to that Acolyte kill during the tech, that's quite a gold advantage for Lin. Lich is coming. He might have issues getting his orb out, but I think the timing adds up. But the big problem is that statues are late, and regen is late on HP and mana. He still has some solid creep speed. Due to the skeletons and the Dark Ranger, but it's definitely tiny time. Yep, Kevin says it. Here we go. Greedy second base. Town portal was lost, but second base erected. A player's forces are under attack. And this is the new norm. We've seen this from Soin when he defeated 1-0 uh, in AWL. We've seen this from Fly yesterday. And then, oh, the next creep spot is a big one. If Lin is able to steal this, this was also the Scroll of the Beast committed, by the way. Big question to me, how fast is the orb? Because Orb of Lightning, double Orb of Lightning, looked insane in the hands of Soen in AWL. Big mana potion, of course. The big consumable on happy side of the map is the big mana potion. Everybody knows this. And it looks like Lin is following Soen into this new meta. Second barracks instead of beastery. This is just mass headhunters. The disable is usually coming from ensnare, but we can skip it these days due to orbs. But we don't have orbs yet, and we got a lot of skeletons. Lin, can you hold this with headhunters only against the Undead Scourge? DK far forward. Lin smelling blood in the water. There's more mana, obviously. Also, thanks to the big mana potion, he can spread that chain lightning quite a bit. And these melee forces are going down quickly. Still a massive supply lead for Lin, but happy with the two statues. Can't stay in the fight. He doesn't have a destroyer yet. He doesn't have destroyer form yet. So these wolves are doing a tremendous job. But so is happy with the tools that he got. Coil Nova is death for headhunters. That expo. Is kicking in slowly but steady, but didn't pay off yet. That DK, how long can he stay? There's no TP, there's no invo potion, there is nothing on the hands of Happy to stay in this game. And I think he can't break that expo. He just can't break that expo and there's definitely Lin floating in gold right now for the first orb of the game. Even before the TC, this is so interesting. No third hero on Lin's side. He wants Chain Lightning 3, maybe, earlier. 
no beastery, no TC, just straight up dual hero or T uh, tiny and headhunters. That's enough. That's... I guess you have to get used to it, ladies and gentlemen. Because this is what it's about at the moment. Happy's levels are not where they're supposed to be. No Black Arrow 2. Happy is struggling a little with experience still because Lin took important camps. Is that the next one here? Oh, or can Happy pounce on this? He got a heal scroll against the Chain Lightning. Now the TC is coming in very, very, very late and he might have some issues to level this up. Big item still up for grabs, but even picking up the tome. Lots of headhunters, but if they're all clumped up like this, this is an invite to Destroyer AoE, to Nova AoE, and of course two skeletons. Lin desperately waiting for that TC and more headhunters streaming in there, of course, easy and fast to build. Let's see how this fight goes. Supply is still in favor of Lin. He has to get rid of the ghouls and then he should be safe. TC is out. Is he going for a shopping trip? Not really. He has no resources for it. There's nothing on the ground in a bit. Lich level 2. Finally, this is such an important fight for everyone, but it looks like Lin is pulling further and further ahead. Now with the stomp disabled as well. Goes for the DK immediately. Level 5 on the Farsia yeah, with an invo potion, so he should be safe. Destro once again purged. Has to use the coil. And that was the second last one in that fight. Next stomp. More AoE. More dispel. Chain Lightning to get rid of these Skeletons and that Destro! Oh, last second save, so close! Happy is playing good, but not good enough! Incredible performance by Lin, level 3 Dark Ranger finally, but that took him 13 minutes! And it's just kill after kill after kill, and this is not even Lin's final form. He can still go into the second orb, he can still go into Beast he can add Raiders, he can add Kodos. There is so much potential, and there is no way out for Happy. Investing everything into whatever he can, that's the one Berserker to add some damage. Lin trying to buy some time until these skeletons expire. And there is no mana anymore on Lin. Is that the right assessment here? Can he fight all these skeletons? They will expire in a bit, but of course there's also new ones thanks to the Black Arrow. And these ones are powerful, can also... Oh, cannot be eaten because uh, Happy is opting for Frost Armor. And this push still holds on. Insane that Happy is still in this game. Absolutely insane. But I think all that Lin needs is... Oh, that TC's dead, is he? No, the level up gave him the mana for the heal wave. Next up, Farsia. Okay, TC step, but he got two mana potions. This is so much lightning on level three. This is always a thousand damage. Double mana potion consumed. Oh my god, Shadowhunter is back. TC will be back in no time. And Happy's army is just heroes. Undead heroes, of course, strong as ever. Can he do it? Can Happy just do it with that level 3 Lich? Don't underestimate that. But there's so much crowd control. This one orb adds so much crowd control. Unbelievable. Lin is not buying the TC back. A little bit of a mistake. Invo potion on the Farsia to just get rid of that statue. Careful, careful. Farsia. There is... A coil, lock and loaded. Where's it ending up on? Would love to see a shop here, but this is still so stressful. This fight is going on for three minutes and more. Unbelievable. And Happy is alive with heroes and statues. Lin needs to recover. He bought two he mana potions already. Heal potions should be available. And the clarity is running. Masterclass levels of survival. 10 seconds till TC. Thank you, FEV, for the raid, mate. Shadow Hunter once again in trouble. Has to use the speed scroll to get out. Next hero kill might give, as weird as it sounds, might decide the game in favor of Happy. But Lin consolidating once again after struggling a little bit. It feels like he got this under control again. At least for now. But the statues are working overtime. Noticeable. This DK mana pool, again, insane. TC level 2, that adds the aura that makes everything faster and easier to maneuver. 
I think Lin could spread these headhunters a little better for min-maxing so the Nova isn't as impactful. But yeah, guys, these statues are insane. Dark Ranger now gets us another coil. Are there any... Oh, there is a big level. Two big level ups coming for Lin. Level 5 on the Shadow Hunter adds so much healing. Guys, I'm not pretending that statues aren't strong. I never did. This value is insane. But Lin breaking upkeep for the first time. Is that too much then? Two more headhunter kills is two more statues. Cannot be eaten still. There's no dark ritual. Second orb. Yes, please, Lin, if you get some gold, get that second orb. Maybe a shop. Yeah, he gets the second shop now. That's amazing. Just for the mana potions and heal potions. I think it's necessary. And the statues are falling. Oh my god. What a game. Lin with the block. There's still a coil. And the spell. But Lin is still the guy on two bases. Main base. 2,300 still remaining. A little less for Lin, who's now adding a beastery. And that is so much utility. Kodos can eat a little bit, but of course they provide the battle drums aura. For more damage on the headhunters. 1 0 upgrade. Crazy game. Not the biggest variety in terms of army composition, but an incredible game. Ghouls pulled by Happy once again. That Storm was dodged by the DK. Well done, the heal wave a little too late. Happy with two big moments for the start of this game adds uh, the Berserker's Call for even more damage. Three statues on the ground, another Chain Lightning. He's just spamming that Chain Lightning. Call him Thor, and that's finally level five. And almost level 6 on the FS. Destroyer again in focus fire. Great concave on the headhunters. That damage enough. Oh, definitely is. Did you see the damage exploding? Surreal. But now the Farsia is out of mana. And that means no chain lightning. And that means the skeletons reign supreme. Level 5 on the DK as well. The tuck of war continues. Woo, this is only game 1 of 7, everybody. Uh, more mana potions used and chain lightning as well. This is wolves three and I think they do have value here There's very little Destroyers in the game. So very little dispel in general that can work happy has no TP nothing But was short of a hex apparently to follow up that focus fire on the DK Lit's about to be four But TC is also three what's coming and snare. Yeah, we're switching to hero focus now Huh? They're a purge? Ah, that fast here. Not reaching. Okay, more time for both of these guys to gather the troops, to pack that inventory. And the uh, stealing the Invo Potion here is so important. Because we'll see more hero focus now in this state of the game. With Raiders coming, with Stomp 2, it's just an invite. And having that invo potion, of course, when you're facing level 3 coil, level 2 Nova, is also pretty good. Lin Shoto resources. Again, mana potions. Just spamming that mana potions. There is nothing on the TC. Would love to see a clarity. It's crazy that Happy's still in this. 100%. 100%. When he was creep check bottom right, I thought that slides out. But it wasn't. Not when your name is happy. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> Another bell. Oh my god, this DK is so tanky. Look at this behemoth. 1250 HP. 8 armor. Frost armor on top. Give me that. And this is a lot of skeletons. Look at the fight go. This might be the last one. If Lin holds this, the game should be his. Because Happy is running out of steam and also resources. But it's the army of the dead raised. Lots and lots of kills. But also a 20 supply lead for Lin. 
takes care of these dark minions, and I think it's a very good solution to do that. Oh, the Shadow Hunter! So sick! 36 HP! Insane! We're going for the ledge! Is there another ants there? There should be! There is! Big X continues! But the coil is ready! Of course it is! Just in time when he needed it! It's still that 20 supply lead and it's still a destroyer that can't go anywhere. It's also happy. No more mana. The DK is out of range of the statues in a second. There we go. And there's still so many headhunters around. This is insane. This, mu this must be game. The Raider Control is out of this world. They're always where they should be. He passes the belt for some extra HP. Is it enough? Is it enough? Is it enough? It's not because there is another Chain Lightning. And the high DPS hero is down as well as the Dark Ranger because the Hex comes in at a perfect time. GG and Lin takes game number one. What? A match to open up Show Cup 60. <laughs> Guys, we've been telling you that Unnet versus Orc is one of the best matchups that we got in the scene, and here's the reason why. That decision making by Lin, absolutely insane to realize I don't need my Shadow Hunter, uh, I don't need my Farsia, I can go for the counter harass. And I will do more damage than you do in my base. The hold with the Shadow Hunter and a handful of Headhunters, phenomenal. And then Scroll of the Beast, Fossier, Wolves, Chain Lightning onto the Undead Economy and onto the Slaughterhouse. That was the moment that uh, put Happy behind big time. Holy smokes. Thank you, Messerman, for the 17 month resub. Happy versus Lin hype. Indeed, hype. And that is what we're about to witness here, everybody. That's probably the path that we're walking here today. Running an ad real quick. If you don't want to see these ads, feel free to subscribe to the channel and help the channel in bringing you more Warcraft action like this. Oi, oi, oi. I expected fireworks. And I got fireworks. <sighs> All right. Let's see where this series goes. Yeah, sorry, I updated the score a little later. I'm a bit disorganized today as I don't have my laptop by my side. Tight Hunters, the next map. Is this already showing us? If Lin is going for Blade Master Headhunters or not. Relax, boys, just relax. How am I supposed to relax when I get a game like this? Please, guys. There's no time to relax, there's just time for games. It feels like. This is the most effective way of playing Orc versus Undead since Undead switched to Ghouls. Bururaj, thank you for the 100 bits! And greetings to, welcome to Iowa, who uh, was at the same concert as me yesterday. And we were both equally disappointed. <laughs> okay. Which server are they playing? That is not relevant anymore because we have a tool called Ping Equalizer and that evens out the ping for both of the players. Yesterday in Happy versus Fly, it was a, for both players 92 on the dot 92. And that is the case here today as well. Okay, we are a DK versus Fastier opener, so it's basically the same as before. Uh, when you say this way is most effective, what are the crucial points that make it this way? Uh, super greedy tiny at the very beginning of tier 3. And you can afford that by saving golden resources on a beastery. 
and Raiders and Ensnare and Kodos. So all that money that usually goes into the beast tree is going for economy, and then it's just mass headhunters because you get the crowd control that you necessarily that you usually have and need uh, with Raiders with Hex, obviously, and with the perch of the Lightning Orb. And then you can contest this better, you get more resources, you get more mana potions, with that you can spam Chain Lightning more, and Chain Lightning seems to be the most effective way of getting rid of all the skeletons that Undead plays with, thanks to the Dark Ranger. I hope that makes sense. Town is under so then, fast tech, no units so far, happy trying to creep with the DK and ghouls. Very interesting. We'll have to see if, if Happy can find a counter. Very true. Usually Happy is incredibly quick in adjusting to this, to new strategies. It takes him um, usually two maps at most. Yeah, this is really curious. This is... Um, I'm really curious about this. So far... Oh, nice last hit by Happy. So far... Pressure put on the DK is at 50%. That's usually good, as the tech is about to finish. Neo has always been right with the Chain Lightning. Right? That's why they call me the Prophet. I've always been right about the Orb of Lightning too, by the way. This game, I'd say a lot better for Happy in the early game. Just by preventing every single bit of XP, saving everything, leveling up. And of course you can heal with the Ritual Dagger. The question is, what's Lin's follow-up? Because he was teching so fast, there was also a period of time where Wyvern was the play. I don't think he's doing that. But we'll have the answer once the tech is done. I'd almost rule Wyvern out at this point. Just doesn't seem to be working anymore. As Happy is making his way across to level 3. And Lin is so far ahead in tech. That is one and a half techs. Well, not one and a half, but it's a half tech ahead. And Lin is saving a lot of resources. Once again, by skipping the beast tree. Can he afford that tiny... Fly was hard countered so bad yesterday when he tried to go for that second base and Happy had the answer in seconds. This is a very small map, so the tiny build is ultra fragile here. HCRA, thank you for the 14 month resub. Dr. Snuggles, thank you for the 11 month. Happy again with the Dark Ranger. That seems to be the play. And that makes sense. It is faster than the Lich. You get summons. And that gives you the force you probably need to delay or cancel that tiny Great Hall. So we went from... Oh, Fossius around! Sick, happy. We went from... Uh, Ted Fiend's DK Lich to Ted Fiend's DK Dark Ranger to DK Ghoul's Lich and now back to DK Ghoul's Dark Ranger. That's pretty much the, the, the recent development, right? Black Rayman, der Rochenmann. Thank you very much for the 28 month resub. Rochenmann is here. I hope. Thundra wins. Oops, wrong game. I don't know what that is, but Thunder might win if Lin spams this chain lightning as well as he did on game one. But until then, it's a long way. No echo damage done this time. No delay on the slaughterhouse this time. Wow, happy upgrades ghoul armor. And I 
like that. It's it's very cheap, and there's so many ghouls. There's not going to be fiends probably in this entire game. And it helps them survive. That's always good. Tiny drop at the fast. You still not level three. Shadowhunter is trying to get some last hits, but Coil prevent that. Level two from downtown. Happy steals two thirds of this camp. Nice, just as nice as Ralph's support. Tier two sub, fifty month. Warcraft three love. Happy versus Lin two thousand twenty two. Thank you, Ralphus. That is super nice. He got the whole camp. He took it all. Oh, damn. I uh, didn't pay attention, I guess. Okay, then he takes the entire camp. Then it's even more impressive. Thank you guys for helping me out. And yeah, this... This game is definitely in Happy's favor, but it's also Happy's map. But the big advantage is this. And also Happy's positioning on the map because he's in the upper left hand side. Pretty much across of where he wants to be. Oh, Hex prevents the coil. There's no TP anymore. Gotta be so careful. Has to use the heal wave prior to level 3. But with that skeleton, he gets the double level up. Finally unlocking level 2. Uh, ah, he's thinking about it. Wolves, chain lightning? Not sure yet, but definitely heal wave. Also, reinforced defenses, done. Farsia steals the heal scroll, big invul potion for the DK. And Happy builds another Acolyte. There's no need for shades on this map as it is so small and narrow. So counter expansion is the answer. Huh. I wonder if that timing window is working out. Obviously, it's Happy. He knows it, I don't. But he's giving Lin time to get back in the game, I feel. Again, tiny and or prior to tier 3. Wow, that's pretty incredible how this matchup is evolving this week. Very good items on Happy in general, as always. Still no TP on Lin. This is dangerous. This is a lot of time for Happy. Lin has to cross half of the map and ghouls will tear this base apart. First the Burrows, because then the peons aren't safe anymore and they will all be turned to skeletons. TC now. Lin evacuates the second base, trying to hold on to this. Is he ready? The supply lead isn't as big as it once was. Fasia also no big mana potion. He bought the mana potion last second before the shop goes down. Very, very, very important. But Happy is hunting headhunters once again. Big Dimi in a good position, but not impossible. Oh, Dark Ranger! Can't get the invul. He passed it, but he couldn't use it. And that's an exclamation mark for Lin, who's holding on to his second base. And now we're talking. Now we're talking. Dark Ranger back with a big investment. But this is all time for Happy Space as well. Definitely the early game belonged to Happy. Then Lin with a good comeback. But this is also a distraction from that two base, two base. Massive Nova. Chain Lightning to follow it up. There's not too many forces on Happy in this fight. And the ghouls are falling quickly. But so are Headhunters. And when is it time to eject? TC is out. Got the storm. Seal scroll is ready as well. Uses it, uses it immediately. And we re-establish that 10 supply lead that we've seen in game one. So much value with the heal wave. And Lin feels comfortable enough to already go for the beast tree. This was a lot later in game one. But what about this? What about that second base? It was a war of attrition already. 
on Amazonia, and that was Happy One Base. And Happy Retreats goes into double crypt now. That is Warcraft, everybody. Mass headhunters and mass ghouls. <laughs> Base is reestablished. Is it one beast three or two? If Lin could afford double beast three and the transition into Wyvern, keep it secret for a bit. Is that contestable for Happy? I guess it doesn't work out with the timing. DK far forward has an invo potion. Deep into enemy territory. Two destroyers morphed and again this massive amount of skeletons. Looking pretty good. Happy has no lumber at all. I think he pulled all ghouls or at least a lot of them. Sustained by Lin. He still has a mana push on the Shadow Hunter, so more heal wave. And the major source of damage is not the heroes, but headhunters. How long can he keep them up? I think Happy with a great fight here. As the supply is even again. This army composition looks so funny. Six head hunters, that's it. But this will change everybody. More control on Lin's side, who is also a little lumber starved. I'm still calling for that second orb. These guys operating on such a high level, it's absurd. Double orb! We got it, everybody! Double orb, another good weapon against the skeletons. This orb adds more damage to summons and also more purge progs. It is expensive, but you had some spare gold anyway. So yeah, invested into items, invested into this orb. So in, showing the way, and Lin follows. Oh, so many raiders queued. But Happy has a supply lead for the first time in this series. How much impact will this orb have? Ooh, Nova 2 unlocked. This is not looking great. This is not looking great for the headhunters at all. Lin needs a little bit of orc magic. The TC is out of mana. So is the Fasia. It feels like the war chief is running out of steam. But I thought this on Amazonia by, uh, on the other side like four times and that wasn't the case. Statue taken out. There's only one left. That's also like these forces are crazy good. Maybe that one harass messed a little bit with the timing. And Lin didn't do enough damage in the early game. Thank you, Max, for the 13-month resub. El Clasico, indeed. And also, Narc Sane for the three-month resub. Love you guys. L Lin is trying to stall time, but the supply lead is growing and growing and growing and growing. So are the levels. And there's not much that Lin can throw against this. Every focus fire is a kill. Every single kill is a new skeleton. TC survives for a little bit. Lin is trying his best. There is a Wyvern now, but it's too late as Happy ties up the series. Once again, good game, everybody. A good game indeed. Yeah, Happy better reactions. In my opinion, had a better early game, got more creep, got an earlier level immediately. That helps a ton. Also, the Farsia wasn't creeping as he was on Amazonia, where he got that level uh, two guaranteed. That just wasn't the case here. 
as I have to rush into the next game. There we go. And the score has to be adjusted, of course, as well. Um, I throw you guys into a tiny little break to get some new coffee. And then we're back. Who takes the lead? Is it Lin again? Or can Happy take the 2-1 as he did yesterday? In two minutes, we're back with map three. We cut this break short as we're back to Warcraft and we're back to Concealed Hill. The score is tied in this best of seven show match. Happy one, Lin one. And now, CH. Is that a Blade Master map, I wonder? No, it's not. Not just yet. He saves the Blade Master for later. And goes for a grunt opener again, just as he did last time when he won that game on Amazonia. And with that, more pressure and better creeping. A uh, big discussion why walkers aren't a thing. I'm not 100% sure, but it takes a very, very, very long time to build the totem build a walker, get the upgrade, build another walker, have mana regenerated. I think the timing just doesn't work out. And they're being nuked very easily. So yeah, the dispel would be fine. But yeah, I don't think there's an opportunity. You have to spam headhunters to stay on the map and then you'd rather go for Chain Lightning, which basically has the same effect as Dispel, somehow, to a degree. I mean, it's damage to a lot of summons, right? And that's what Chain Lightning does as well. And Chain Lightning hits ghouls. And Spirit Walkers, I mean, they have good damage versus ghouls, but they're also slow attack. Big and important, lasted to happy again, and Lin steals the item, I guess, and he gets the Cloak of Shadows, haha! <laughs> oh, and also squeezes through this. So no surround. Oh, Grunt maybe, he wants this ghoul, he wants this ghoul so bad, but happy. Does he have the healing ready? Oh, slow. He saves it. With narrow micro. Of course, this ghoul is saved. And then pulls back. Couldn't delay level two. Got more done than before. A player's forces are under attack. Neo, please. Neo, please. What? Spirit Walker dispel. Get, it has basically the same value than Chain Lightning, no? And you can apply mana potions on the Shadow Hunter and the Farsia. I think it makes sense. It's 
Stop saying chain is the same as Walker Dispel. Why? The reason for Walker Dispel is to damage the summons. In an area of effect. And Chain Lightning does the same. I think I'm having a pretty good point here, to be honest. Nice last hit. Goes to happy. Oh, and this around. I think this time he's not able to wiggle through this, but he can hide. A player's forces are under attack. That's quite some good damage done. Thanks to the cloak, and that has to be a TP. Takes his units with him without any losses. Happy didn't get the item. Shout out chat for pointing that out. Claws plus nine, eh? That's a big one. That on the Dark Ranger at this timing? Super dangerous. A big steal by Lin. Oh, Hex, while the arm was already in the air. But there's a coil anyway. No Berserkers upgrade yet. But also no Dark Ranger yet. So none of these guys at their final form. Wolf save to the Psyche of the Acolyte, but now Mira has arrived. And so far the dust settles. We got that level 3 Farsia. We got a level 3 DK. I think this is the most even game we've had today. Both got the levels. Both are on the way to establish the army they want. Lin is already banking a little bit for the tiny. Okay, you're making a point that Walker Dispel does more damage, but by bringing up the damage value, you basically agree with me that they do the same, but with different damage values. Thank you for proving my point! I appreciate that. Shadowhunter leveling looks really good. Tech-wise, Lin isn't as far ahead as he was before. So the tier 3 ghoul timing can still hurt. Reinforced defenses in anticipation. He of course doesn't need the next burrow. Because the tiny uh, provides it. A lot of action on the map. Shadowhunter got the tiny. Items aren't the greatest for TC. They're kind of fine. Fassi is playing a dangerous game, but there's no Lich yet. Oh, another last hit, wasn't there? So well done by both. They're playing around each other so well. All the ghouls hurt, that will of course change in a second once the statue is up, but Lin wants to be more oppressive. Happy once again with the ghoul updates. That is definitely an adjustment to this new style of orcs. Oh, last hit. Goes to Lin once again. Went of mana stealing, not necessarily the item he wanted, but against the DK who's diving deeper and deeper recently. Not the worst. And Happy is going for that counter expansion again. Will apply pressure to the Orc base and with that buy time for his own second base. Well, in is setting the TC a little earlier than before.
Slayer's forces are under attack. Can Lin jump on this? He wants to steal, but Happy gets it. Hood of Cunning, perfect for the Dark Ranger, but no aura, no movement speed is usually what you want. Or, of course, the Brilliance aura. It's a, also a lot of experience here on this. And Lin doesn't feel comfortable climbing the high ground. And that is now silence. Solid distraction. Did Lin get the fountain? Not really. Good scout though. Would love to see a little min-maxing with the gloves of haste on the fast here now that orb is online. And two consumables again. This is definitely part of Lin's game plan, isn't it? He did the same on Amazonia. Sacrificing a bit of XP. For getting these consumables for the fight. But here's the big, or a big push. The biggest distraction push we've seen so far. Dark Ranger not three yet, far away actually. A player's forces are under Wolf harass again, that's a lot of damage. That is a whole lot of damage, oh my God. Wolf sent the grunt everybody. That's how he stopped the push. He didn't use a sapper, did he? Like, the camp isn't up yet. Okay, we got that fight. TC has no invul, only a heal potion has to wait until the silence is over. The positioning, not the greatest heal scroll used. That was the only one. We have, of course, a lot of heal wave on Lin's side, who also has a massive, massive, massive supply lead. Happy still flowing through thanks to all the skeleton supply is very, very misleading because it doesn't factor in the summons. Which, of course, the Orcs don't have. So, lots of headhunters down. And I think Lin is being caught off guard here a little bit. Or definitely overcommitting. It is a brutal exchange once again. Now, value targets. Statue taken out quickly. And Happy has to TP out. Glitch! One chain lightning away from yet another kill. Happy holds... Yeah, wolves are summons. You're right. I'm dumb. <laughs> Didn't know what I mean. Silence on the fast here so he couldn't nuke. Nice. Yeah, this is uh, this is the highest level. This is the highest level of Warcraft. No doubt. Level 4 Farseer is big, because now level 2 Chain Lightning gets effective. Lin burned through the big mana potion. Got level 2 unlocked as well, and Happy soaks up the other fountain. Power, two base, two base. Once again, a lot more even than Tide Hunters. And it took a long. This is so annoying. What do we got? More intelligence on the Fastia. That's nice. Scourge. Bone Chimes. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's so much value. That's the best drop there by far, isn't it? Breaks through the silence with the stomp. Chain Lightning used as well. There's no mana potion here. Is there even a TP? No, just a speed scroll. Wacky fight. Lots and lots and lots of headhunters. But is the damage uptime great? Not too sure. Oh, Happy healed so well. That heal scroll, that vamp aura, absolutely phenomenal for this build. The sustain is insane. And it feels like Lin needs a new answer to this. Expo play. Speed scroll getting out. We got a Kodo Beast. Trying to eat. There's so many spells. There's so many skeletons. Is zero focus an option? There's nothing really to save the DK. But also, no hex. No end snare. No storm. 
Mana is a huge issue. And then gets eaten alive quite a bit. Oh, that changes with the chain lightning. Nicely waiting for the necessary mana to get a triple kill on the ghouls. Absurd how much healing happy has. Oh, nice. One Kodo from the belly, one from the Kodo. What? How long are these fights, man? It's so explosive. TC has one more stomp in a second. And they are kiting each other throughout the entire map. And we're going back to shopping. Happy invo potion, no heal scroll this time. Statues can provide that. More experience going towards Lin. 4.5, 4.7. These heroes are quite scary and I feel like it's just a matter of time until we get Raiders again. We get the big upgrade. Once we get a Kodo on top. What's Happy doing with all his gold, by the way? There was a lot of heal scrolls that he chewed through. It's all about statues, right? Yep. Yep! That's where it's at! Destros and statues. A little counterintuitive. And of course, a constant resupply of ghouls. A player's forces are under attack. Is there anything left on the map? No. It's all about fighting now, but Happy has a supply lead. He's in charge. Lin is quite broke, actually. And a heal scroll. This is so tough to hold. I don't know how he's supposed to do it. Lin invested a lot into combat items as well. Mana potion, invo potion, heal potion, heal scroll. Shop is gone. And that might just be the Achilles heel. If you have no constant resupply of mana potions, how are you supposed to fight this? Happy gets a TP. And then two more heal scrolls. <laughs> supply is even. What's the value thing? Oh my god, almost dead even. The fight starts again in the middle of the two bases. Lin getting the faster resupply with Headhunters. But is it enough? So many destroyers up in the air. Headhunters split to the left-hand side, to the right-hand side. No one target for the Nova, but he splits it nicely. Hero focus, Lich! Invo potion, sick save again. Does he have one more? Fossia gets saved by a heal self. He has nothing else. The potions are on the TC. He stomped him. He kills him. The Lich is dead again. He swapped the town portal, but once again couldn't use it. Same as before, where he passed the invo potion. Lin holds and basically destroys Happy. The heal scrolls are gone. The TP, or oh, oh, the Lich has to be bought back. That is super expensive. But now high ground. It's not enough. Wow. I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe of this level of play between them. There's a lot on the line. And you feel it. 5-5-3. Five, five, shop control. Invo potion. Shadowhunter is a little bit naked, so is the Fasia. These are squishy heroes, but it's also level 3 on the heal wave. <sighs> no TP though, Lin is oozing confidence. Narup down, Ozigurat down, Acolytes down, 10 supply lead. Is that the knockout? Stomp onto absolutely everything. But they're getting healed again. Fossia! So close! The focus fire! He's just... Oh, hexing. That Fossia is out of the fight. For sure. If he shows up once again, he's just dead. So it's a lot more experience on the TC. Not too easy to maneuver here, but it's all headhunters. Look at this. This entire screen is orc. And that is damage. Plus six on the berserkers. 
And Happy is once again down to heroes and statues, I feel. Okay, Destroyer against the Wolves, but the Acolytes are all taken out, and Lin wins Concealed. What a banger of a game. Again. Absolutely phenomenal Warcraft. That fight at the 6 o'clock. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. He had the right amount of units to take the fight. He had the exact amount of items that he needed for this. And then of course he has the execution. Headhunters, I like the splits here a lot better than, for example, on AZ, where the headhunters were barely ever split. Here, they were everywhere. <sighs> Call no Bonifacio is such a waste. Happy watch. I think that was already desperation. He saw the army was so big. <laughs> Neil says shop is gone, that Achilles heel is gone. He rebuilt the shop. He rebuilt the shop. 2-1 for Lin. Two maps away from the dethrone. I threw you guys into a tiny break again because... Oh my god. I need to save my energy. Be right back with game four. From a thousand knives I hear you call But I'm still stumbling in the dark A silent howl As I dissolve into your arms I waited now Seduced by a sweet mirror We can live or we could stay We're back once again to game four. Lin wins map one, Happy wins map two, but the War Chief strikes back. And now it's up to Happy to tie up the series once again and find a new solution since the expansion did not work on Concealed. This is Last Refuge. This is still the Farsia. No Blade Master. I thought Blade took over in at least 25% of the cases. And it's once again that Farsia Grunt opening that we've seen twice. That was the winning opening. When he opened with the fast tag, that didn't work. Maybe it was too fragile. happy the, the the opening i think can't be changed like there's no leeway whatsoever to change this opening dk way too important and fiends way too slow so and of course not nearly as effective in 
creeping and moving and in general damage for his headhunters. I think there's no real possibility. For Lin, there's plenty. Farseer, Blade Master. Grunt opening or headhunter opening. Fast tech or no fast tech. He has basically six different openings to work with. Lich fast expo. True, Jadra. True. That might be something, but but then you lose the Dark Ranger on tier two, and this is also not something you want. Again, claws on the Farsia. Very, very good for these last hits. Can't prevent the level two though. Again, last hit happy. Can you get the entire camp? Just has a sixth sense for this. The NQCN, by the way, for the 27 month resub. The dust settles. Is that enough? He got 0.2, probably from skeletons, but no chain lightning yet. Happy's tech has just started. Massive tech lead again. And happy losing heroes in two of the ser in two of the maps is something new. Oh, big one again. <laughs> okay, that was a little obvious. Okay, this feels like, again, a better opening for Happy. Long range coil is yet another save. No big kills, no big steals. But this is also a lot of experience left in the north. And it's a delayed level 3, so... Not as bad as Tight Hunters, not as good as Amazonia or Concealed. I feel like this is playable for Lin. Got level 2 now. Chain Lightning as well. Uh, is he willing to use it? Nope, just like that. Flutchi, thank you for the sub. 14 month, man. Much love. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? Every skeleton is important. Yeah, chat is right, by the way. If uh, you tend to be late to streams or not catch streams, follow and ring the bell. Then you get notifications, especially when you also have the app on your phone. And it helps the channel grow. It's two clicks and then you shall never miss a stream again. Or also YouTube uploads. Once again, Lin half a tech ahead. But he has to creep Farsi and Shadow Hunter for a while at the same time. Until he gets level 3, it's a little suboptimal. And happy. So f Oh, adjustment. Adjustment made, no Dark Ranger second. It's Lich. So a more powerful Coil Nova on the cost of the Dark Ranger harass. Huh. How do you like that? You can still create space and prevent the high level Shadow Hunter, or I think that's the goal. While not involving any ghouls in the mid game. But Lin found enough time. Not for the mercenary camp, but for everything else, for all the small camps. Thank you, 
Elephant Dung for the five month reset. Thanks for being a part of keeping this game alive. Greetings from Sunny Heidelberg. Don't you guys have an uh, Age of Empires tournament running? And then you're sitting at home watching Warcraft? That's the spirit, mate. That's the spirit. Or watch both. Our RTS communities have to stick together. Time for the tiny instant scout. I mean, it is to be expected at this point. Roar of the Magi once more. These guys are getting some good items this series. And this is the setup phase. Happy has to make a call, expansion or not. Ooh, rune Bracers? In a hero focus heavy matchup? Nice. Thirty-seven supply tiny without TP or or third hero, but it works. Yeah, you would think that it's more punishable, right? I think so too. But apparently it isn't. Apparently it's not possible to break this tiny earlier, thanks to wolves and headhunter damage, and chain lightning, of course. Creep speed is so sick. Dark Ranger third now, but with silence opener. No black arrow for the time being. And we're playing a little creep craft with double racks. TC now. TC prior to orb this time. And Happy is charging up. Once again. A player's forces are uh, does he not have the gold? Covering his own expansion with a possible push. TC is so late. Yeah, but it's a trade-off you get when you tiny so early. I think this time the TC is, in comparison to the prior games, pretty early actually. But this is a scary push. This is a really scary push. Mana, stone, orb and heal scroll though. Heal scroll on the opposite side as well. We saw he needs it. Oh, silence! <laughs> that was the quick usage of heal scroll. Not ne nearly when he wanted to be. Massive Nova as well. That's a more powerful Nova than we've seen before. TC brings the storm. Oh my god, this chain lightning is just so damn good. And there's gonna be more. If he consumes the mana stone, he holds this. TC has full mana. Careful, Lich! Coil from downtown, but yeah, that's the mana stone consumed, and he takes care of a lot of gold and the Dark Ranger. If only he would have sold the rune braces, huh? It could have been a save. But Lin is is again pretty much destroying Happy in this fight, is he not? Oh, statue! Enough damage! And Happy doesn't have a statue on the ground now to recover immediately after the fight. That's big. A player's forces are under attack. This didn't work at all without Black Arrow. Nova did not make up for Black Arrow at all. And, of course, the Mana Stone. That expo is gone. Is it not? Oh, happy buying time. Happy draining mana. And Lin once more without a town portal. Ah, but he's posturing up. Once more with the Merc. Very, very rare to see Undead with Mercs as they give so much experience, are nukeable and expensive. Okay, here's the next fight. Oh, 
Nice split. TC can't do really that value. There was zero value on that headhunter. Nothing. 15 supply lead. Lin never misses a round of production. Yes, of course, he's losing some units, but there's only Black Arrow now. Statue taken out again. And with that massive uh, loss of longevity, I feel like this fight is once more going towards Lin. He has no combat items either, so he has to work with exactly what he has now. And the Lich is really, really powerful with Dark Ritual now. And Aura. Happy survives! Farsia can't be nuked as there is no mana. And what's left? What can he fight with? to go for a shopping trip not sure if he used something already or it wasn't available but that Player is that's pretty insane happy was down 10 to 15 pop lost the initial stages of the fight but holds gets the katka's pipe and his expo is up And the heroes are getting there. This game just turns around. But he had an incredible aura before in the vamp aura and that didn't win him the game. And Lin is coming in again. Doesn't want this position to be fortified at all. There's so many headhunters. This is so many headhunters again. Vamp aura incredible for happy? I don't think so. What? He had like eight ghouls and 12 skeletons. How is that not great? Fantastic. But okay. Is Happy so greedy and expands again? Not yet, right? Battle drums a little redundant. They don't get much HP. That is true. But it's a lot in general. And especially against Chain Lightning, I feel like the damage is evenly distributed and then you get even damage back. That's always a feel good. Yeah, like the item dis discrepancy from the red spots. Um, pipe versus Battle Drums. But can't be sold, it's a heal scroll. Lin has the supply lead, but just barely. The dead were raised. And he's pushing into the base. Once again, number one target, Voodoo Thank you, people, Frag, for the 75 month resub. Happy Halloween! I think it's the seventh one we celebrate together. And you're looking better than ever, mate. Lin supply block. Lin no shop. Weird position for a range army here. Trying to yoink the Destro, didn't work. Happy has one heal scroll and one in will potion. Little bit better fall in here, but the two raiders are down instantly. Do all the headhunters hit? I think so. And now it's weird for the melee units. If they can be blocked for a bit and they absolutely do heal scroll and commit it at the perfect time, DK. Far forward. But repositions now. Kodo has not eaten. Oh my god, this damage is crazy. And Happy has to TP out. He couldn't break through. Lin set this up masterfully. Not much surface area. I thought, okay, if, if they clump up here and they can't attack here, 
That is really odd. But of course he does it. Of course he does it better. Forces are under attack. Than anyone else. Three production buildings on each side. Heal scroll, mana potion, double mana potion, and invuln. Happy, of course, has statues for that. Oh, anticipated the coil. But happy has the high ground. Lots of misses! But Lin feels comfortable. I'm not too sure if that's the right call. Destroyer down level 4 TC is insane. Okay, he takes care of the ghouls and Happy has to TP again. It was the right call. These setup chain lightnings, I think, do more damage than Happy realizes. Chain lightning, heal scroll, then the cooldown is off. You chain lightning again, then there is no heal scroll. And you finish them up one by one with headhunters. Five, five, four. How does he level this TC so well every time? A player's forces are under attack. Oh, dodges the coil again. Oh, ho, 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 so sick. We go for the bases, swing for the fences, son. Who sieges better? Wants to pull a town portal again. This is not too much damage that Happy is doing, thanks to the reinforced defenses. And he can just walk away, can he not? He's still a running expo. This was no losses. And the TP is expensive. And that was the third one. A player's forces are under attack. We get pillage now. 900 gold left. A little more for happy. And again a fight. It was the 6 o'clock position on Concealed that decided the game. It was the 6 o'clock position on Last Refuge as well. Was it enough gold drained? Wolves in the back, needs to be taken care of, but now he's fighting in the shadow of the tower and a shop. Headhunters can't pillage? No, just grunts, raiders and peons. Okay, that coil nova was a kill. Lich is getting close to five. That's of course the big upside of getting the Lich second. Are wolves harassing again. It's nice. Whenever he's posturing up at a position, the wolves are always somewhere else. To do damage. To distract. To force a reaction. Something. But Happy gets a lot of free kills. Hex! Stop! What? Invo potion! This time it works! He had no mana only now. That was a wonky, wonky play. Almost worked. Wolves has been taken care of. This felt a little slow of a reaction by Happy. But this time he's not losing the Lich. Dude, if the Lich falls here, that's a neckbreaker. A player's forces are under attack. Two one upgrades on the Berserkers. I love how. Armor upgrades are getting way more play. Ghoul is scouting. And the main bases are gone. Are under we reset this a bit and go for items. Lin, 200 gold, no tiny, no second tiny, no second expo. How much 
how many headhunters? 15? It's very, very tiny for me. I can't really see it. Invis TC. First time this series. Happy as a shade. That reaction. <laughs> he was getting ready for Wolves 3, I guess, and just to check inventory and stuff. But having the perfect counter for the first time the TC goes in with is so happy. That is such a happy move. Oh, double stop! Hex! Lich down again! For the third time! Uh oh! Hapster, you're in trouble! Lin! You madman! Dying for the uh, diving for the second hero. G G G, and he does it. Three and one. Just like that, Warcraft can be so simple. Sometimes Warcraft can be so simple. You kill the enemy's heroes, and it's game. Very very rare that Happy's getting stomped on both heroes. He had, of course, nowhere uh, to run, really. So where do you go? Hard to say, but Jesus. Back to the lobby, indeed. We got four match points in a row for Lin to conquer the Show Cup throne. But this is Happy, and Happy is more than capable of winning four times in a row now. Three match points, not four. So what happens at 3-3? Three, three? Is that not a match point? Oh, is it three then? Yeah, three. Three, four, whatever you see. I'm losing my mind because it's a freaking fantastic series. <laughs> uh, thanks for having my back, guys. Little break, and then we're back with match points, Lin. And with that, we're back on the first match points. First out of three. Will we witness the Emperor's wrath and the Emperor's revenge? Or is it 
just another win lin lin win that's what it's it that's what it is definitely lin sanity today so what are the plays what are the plays Fasia harass and a fast attack here on Echo Isles. It's the old version. I don't know why. I don't like it. But hey, what Happy doesn't like is kind of being stuck there and getting hit on all the time. Wolf's harass. Annoying. A little bit of gold means a little bit of tech delay. Just a couple of seconds, but it's all about timings in Warcraft. Wolves expire. No experience on the Farsia, and that was also the case on the one map that Happy won. But this is also no level 2 yet. Last hit. Too far away. Maybe half a meter off to be able to contest this, and this is level 2. No, but it took Happy one and a half minutes. Once again, thank you guys for the subs. Glad you enjoy this. Thousands of people watching Warcraft 3 in 2022. Shouldn't take this for granted. And I appreciate you guys. Oh, happy already. Half through his mana. Another coil. Ooh, that was close, but of course Happy gets these. Is this massive amount of defensive coil usage really necessary? I'm not too sure about it. Oh, the timing with the headhunters. The positioning with the headhunters to get the ghoul kill. Admirable. Okay, Happy gets every creep. But headhunters are streaming in. And tier 3 is already on the way. 4 minutes 30, just like that. Oh, Headhunter's around. This can spiral out of control quickly, but if he gets a trade, I think it's okay-ish. Yeah, 1-1 one, one trade. Lin needs levels as well. He got half a level from this harass compared to 2.8, though. But due to the defensive coils, he can't nuke these guys. But thanks to Aura, he's damn fast. Shadowhunter is around for a possible hex. And with that, he saves both. Oh, okay. Focus on the DK. It's like, get out of my side of the map, my friend. Happy has to make the... Oh, wait. He wants to force the town portal with three hexes. Ooh, and he does. That's quite big. That's also a misposition on the Shadowhunter now for the mid game. But if he gets the marketplace, I think he can make up for it. Dark Ranger second. Okay. Happy wants to brawl. That's clear. Uh, you have to contest this as well. You need to steal it. Oh, Lin gets both! Thanks to the hex! These hexes were so impactful! Soaking up damage, Shadowhunter gets the TP pass and he takes out yet another ghoul with that level up to two. Chain Lightning unlocked, Headhunter saved. Lin is playing this pretty perfect. A player's forces are under attack. So far at least. This is not done yet, though. It's not done yet, but he is an entire tech ahead. He took out a lot of ghouls, which means that the first push towards an expansion is not nearly as powerful as it could be. But the timing now, with all the skeletons, this skill is still scary. So Lin is, I guess, anticipating this. Delays the expansion for a bit. Like, imagine he has a tiny now, drops it. Skeletons just destroy it. 
But the skeletons will expire. Yeah, and Happy is expecting this as well, moving south. Expo is delayed. But it's not prevented. Three gloves. Oh, that's pretty sick indeed. <laughs> Scroll the beast, heal wave unlocked. Happy stealing some experience on a map like Echo Isles where I XP resources are super limited. I really like this move. Can he go? Okay, with the ghouls approaching at the statue, he can go for the market. Just a tiny bit of damage. This is not significant. Could be significant here. Is it Chain Lightning Steel? Dark Ranger. Can he prevent level 2? I doubt it against Coil. Yeah. That is pretty much impossible. Uh, Invo Potion goes to Happy. And that Steel goes to them. That trading blows quite hard and Happy. Gave up on the expansion play apparently, huh? Ah, it's not time yet. He's not tier 3. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, gloves stack, but with diminishing returns. So I think more than 3 is overkill. But they always stack to a degree. Another creep jack. Weird timing on level 2 heroes. And with an empty shadow hunter. I guess this was not to be expected. But you want to prevent every single skeleton that you can. Oh, lovely lasted again. That's how you get level 3 on both heroes! Is there any doubt at this point that Lin is the best orc of all time? If there's doubt in you, please check yourself in. Get your head checked, because there can't be doubt. These levels are crazy. The timings are perfect. He got the expo up. He got an orb. He got tier 3 done for a long time. He got the heal scroll. And Happy feels a little underleveled at the moment. Pendant of energy, not as impactful as it once was. There is definitely, definitely big pushes in Happy. With all the ghouls, with raised skeletons, but there's not many skeletons to raise anymore. As all the creep spots have been taken out. This one, this one, the murlocs. And the TC level's up to two. Ring of protection, actually really good. But he needs to hold this massive supply lead. Lin saw him coming. Even a Berserker added. If I'm not mistaken, no Raiders yet. But the hero... But... Level 2 Wolves are kind of missing, but having Chain Lightning 2 is most important in this matchup. Stomp is okay. Not hitting the heroes, but all on the units, and that's what he needs. Scroll of the Beast, plus 7... They plus 13 damage on the fast here. Was dispelled to a degree, but the Destro is down now. These headhunters are doing terrific damage. And again, Happy is following into one of these chokes, but the headhunters in the back are super safe. And there's two fronts again. These headhunters in the birds are could pick up the statues or put pressure on it. And that, of course, requires another Nova that usually would hit the right-hand side headhunters. Good kill on the Berserker, though. But that destroyer, ah, ha, 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 almost. Will this game be decided here already? Happy is fighting, but he has once again not much left. Dark Ranger empty, Lich empty. DK has like one coil or something. And the orb is doing damage. And Perch, can he reach? Oh, taking out that death would be big, but at least he forces a defensive coil. Massive supply lead. Skeletons make this hard to fight. Once again, the purge. And these purges are the reason why this Orb of Lightning is so, so, so good. A 
so good. I think, Lin, you might give a little bit of this prize money to Soin for innovating last week. Yo, Young Fang, I was always a big fan of Orb. I was always a big fan of Orb of Lightning. I'm even a big fan of Double Orb of Lightning if you afford, if you can afford it. So next edition is, I guess, yeah, Beastery, then Shop. Happy's getting ready for creep check though. No TP. This is a trap, maybe. Not as good of a position as it was. Staff, Farseer is back. Chain Lightning off, of course, but the heal scroll is ready. That was the one heal scroll. TC is at half mana. Shadowhunter has a potion. And Farseer, weirdly out of the fight. This is a great position for Happy, it feels like. But it's also ta it's taking a long time to get reinforcements in here. Can he force something? Stomp on the ledge. Coil was ready. This time he didn't get the healer with the stomp as well. Lin is losing tons and tons of headhunters. Has to retreat. <laughs> Raise of the dead. The heal wave a little too late. Happy is back. Lin was a tad too greedy. Going for that spot in the bottom right where it's always a trap. Getting caught out with his pants down. And the supply is once again even. We have a game, everybody. Happy is not giving up his throne lightly. A total... No, not... Yeah, pretty much... Yeah, it's a total disaster. It's a total disaster for Lin. The TC is in trouble. And six feet under. That's level four in the Dark Ranger. How to throw a game away with one creep spot. It's still two base, one base. He can still recover, but Happy has to let loose. The problem for Happy is he's running out of skeletons. So Lin will get that supply lead again. Does he find the time to get the TC back? Does he find the time to get items when Happy is counter expanding? <laughs> Look at that swing in total value. Surreal! Surreal! Bitch! Okay. Got it done. But the headhunter numbers are scary again. The levels are getting better and better too, but it's not the most significant upgrades. Two headhunter split to deal with the skellies that are still remaining thanks to the peons. And Lin got a run again. Level 3 Lich, this is so big. Can he go for some kind of hero focus? Without the TC, Stomp, without Ensnare? Don't think so. Putting pressure onto the Destroyer to open up the way for yet another Hex play. Ooh, Shadow Hunter. Uh oh, run! There's no mana! There's no hope as the Shadow Hunter splits his legs. That's not a good thing if you're on the Orcish side. And Happy is. Was bent, but not broken. Yo, Izzy, thank you for the sub. Less than three right back. Two hero kills decided the last game. Will they decide this game again? It definitely, definitely looks like it. TC is back, but has... A, okay, he has mana for one... Uh, he has money for one mana potion. But Happy is on two bases. Happy is getting big upgrades. Raiders on their way to cancel that expo. This will force a reaction. But oh my god, Lin has nothing left to fight with. Can he kick the second base and hold on to this? Counter aggression coming. He needs to do significant damage to the second base. It worked on map one. It might just work here to a degree. No pillage. I guess he had no time for that. 
skeletons killed every single peon. And the Farseer has to just reckon. Okay, he bought time for the SH to be back. To the Tri Heroes online again, but the levels are just crazy. Look at this graph. That graph tells the story of the creep jack in the bottom right. Town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. And ghouls ravage this again. Lin is not giving this up. We fight over every map like your life depends on it. Funny Bloop, thank you for the 11 month resub. Go, Lin! Well, he's going. On to the Acolytes. And he's trying to hold with two heroes and a handful of headhunters. This seems impossible. Never had the necessary gold for the second orb, for Kodos. The destroyer is getting rid of the wolves. So yeah, he's preventing mining, but his base is also shut down. What's next? I guess the infamous two letters are next. Twenty supply lead. Someone earlier suggested Necros. I wonder if that can work if you're not playing Dark Ranger. Because otherwise she takes the corpses away. You could play Dark Ranger and Necro Wagons. But if we get to a stage where Necro Wagons become meta, I've seen it all. Except useful witch doctors, I guess. Google Corp is still there. True. This might be the nail in the coffin. No angle to attack, really. Okay, level 5 Dark Ranger. This is supposed to be it. Orc spells are not as impactful as they were before. And that is only due to Lin's position at the bottom when he didn't scout that Happy was coming. Oh, bye TC! Not even the ring can help and that's game. Emperor still alive! Emperor clinging to his throne. As he always does. And I wonder if Lin is getting deterred from this. I think this is a relatively easy situation mentally for Lin. It's like, okay, one mistake. Uh, that was that was on me. That was my fault. If I play this cleaner and don't do this mistake, it's also my game. I think it would be worse if all of a sudden Happy finds a hard counter to the strat. Yeah, that, that creep check was everything. Oh, we got a $10 donation towards the War 3 Champions prize pool. And that is awesome. Next weekend and the weekend after, everybody, War 3 Champions finals return. 16 players. That was by Fishy. $10 for the greatest game ever created. Th the link for the match arena is in the chat. Exclamation mark W3C finals. Or, very, very easy, w3cfinals.backtowarcraft.com. We take a little break, everybody. The players get a little rest. We have five maps down this series. There's two more games, and it's still Match Points Lin. Be right back.
And back we are, 2,500 beautiful souls watching Happy versus Lin with Lin on match points. And the next game is up and running as we go onto Northern Isles. Is it time for a blade? No, it's not. Lin, the one orc who doesn't seem to be a fan of this, maybe he saves it for the last map, but not this far. It's once again the grunt opener. This was successful every game. He played the grunt opener, I think. Happy again on DK and ghouls. And with that, of course, level two. Level two can't be prevented. On Northern Isles. Wonder how that switches the dynamic. And did this last series make Lin think? Lightning Shield? Actually, pretty damn good against ghouls. I'd argue. Are the servers fair? We introduced a new tool that's called the Ping Equalizer. So the ping is as fair as it gets at around 90 ms, uh, yeah, 92 ms for both players. Big mana potion, oh that's big, that's huge. The first time this series, where Happy finds this item. On other maps, Lin went for the consumable items to steal it away from Happy. And it worked well. Here's the lightning shield already on the creep, <laughs> okay. That's a coil, he undershoot a little. But still gets the last hit. Thank you, Kefka Time, for the 34 month resub. GLHF to both of the players, obviously. So one of the lightning shields gone. Watch creeping prevented. Headhunters will be starting in a bit. Gotta be careful with that grunt. Can't have it surrounded. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, second attempt. It's so close to the stones here. Lightning shield. Okay. Could have been put on the ground. Maybe a little misclick. Lin needs to deny. Lin needs to deny and he doesn't get it. But it's time to clean this up. There are three herd units. Happy obviously pulled the one ghoul back as fast as he possibly could. But it's still a grunt in the early game. Grunt versus ghoul trade, not the greatest. Headhunters not rallied anywhere. He doesn't want to cross the map to expose them to ghouls. Oh! From downtown, baby! That is important. And the next one? Goes to happy. Okay. Ghouls are kind of hurt, but he can still creep a lot. It's not too bad for Happy. The tech isn't too far behind either, in comparison to the previous games. Skeletal scouting everywhere. By the way, Happy versus an Orc on Northern Isles rings a bell, doesn't it, against Soen? The perfect game at the Arcadia World Series. A fan made a compilation of that, really, really cool. And he steals another item away and another creep away. T2 is almost finished and then again it's time for Happy to make a decision if Lich or Dark Ranger. The Lich was really not successful. Yet another steal. Dude, Lin stole like four, three creeps, four creeps. Something like that. Handed over a wolf on the grunt, so we're still... Still closing in on three. But the Shadow Hunter is out, and you gotta respect that hex timing. And I guess that's why. Oh, that's. What? What? Marketplace around the tavern when you know that Happy is about to be tier two? That's risky AF, but it's so worth it. Mana Stone. 
the big mana potion by Happy already consumed, by the way, for that very push. He gets the Headhunter. Oh, the rally. Gotta be careful with that. Lin takes the fight. Is that the right call? He wants that Hex advantage again, draining another coil. Saves that Headhunter to the side. Saves that Headhunter to the side. And it's even trades, basically. No deny, though. And that's level 3. Level 2 coil. And the entire mana pool of the Shadow Hunter is gone. For now. This is a lot of headhunters. Happy is accelerating, guys. And this is getting rather scary. Tier 3 is done. And again... Happy contests the path to the natural expansion, and I really like that play against the new style of orcs. No creeping on the Shadow Hunter, not many headhunters remaining, very good number of skeletons. Happy's finding answers. We're getting there. Super early orb this time. He still has the gold for the tiny, or had the gold for the tiny. <sighs> and Happy's taking revenge for getting creep stolen. Yep. This is one of the scarier Happy early and mid games. Not much left here. How do you level the Shadow Hunter? Yes, of course. The Tuska camp on the left hand side. Yo, thank you, Blast, for the sub. 20 month. Super Poggy Pog Go Go. But if Happy plays this right and can prevent the hero focus, it's his game to take. Level 3 Farsia. Nice, but. Devotion aura against all that physical damage. It's fantastic. I really like the orb. It's just very, very good damage when it procs. Level 2 wolves. You're right. Is he expecting a counter expansion? He really shouldn't. He's getting there. Frenzy, Lich, Destros. And Lin isn't online at all. That marketplace turned out to be too greedy. It's the second time in two maps where Lin is creeping a little too greedy. And he's getting caught again. At this stage, he has to. He has to catch up in levels. He needs his level 2 heal wave, which he got now. And he held on to the mana stone. But shop control goes to Happy. This is how he defeated him in Riju Cup. <sighs> this is looking grim. This is looking like an impossible task for Lin, but he's been there before. This time though, no reinforced defenses. Not a great position at all. The shop isn't finished. Reinforcements trickling in, but slowly. Half of the army is not part of that fight. Has to reposition in the meantime. Happy is doing tremendous damage. Trying to buy some time is the TC. That's what he's best at. Reinforced is finished. And half the army can now hold, but without a shop. TC has to be the carry of items without a heal scroll. How can you do that? Speed scroll, disengage. How do you reunite this army? So many questions for Lin. But Happy is fighting a war on two fronts that does buy time for the expo. No... Wait, there's a counter expansion coming. Lin sees I can't break this anymore. So it's not an all-in push. 
Lin is basically defending with half his army. That's freaking nuts. Now it's reunited. And Happy is committing to the fight for now at least. Statue hurt. DK far forward. Nova hits big. But he's also taking out ghouls very, very quickly. Can Lin do this? Headhunters are falling on both sides. There's still the heal scroll for Happy. Unwilling to use it for a long time. Same goes for Lin and the Mana Stone, which has to be consumed soon. Lin is taking the advantage when it comes to supply. This is, of course, due to the investment by Happy into this expansion. And now he evens things out. And all these level 2 skeletons. And the lack of level 2 chain lightning. Starbucks says it in chat as well. Noticeable. Very, very noticeable. But the wolf might be the right call against the expo now. As they see it, is the damage enough is the question. We keep an eye on the haunted gold mine in the south. Or in the north, at the south of the screen. But... It's actually close. Oh! It's so... It's ultimately close! Oh my god, he has to cancel this! Lin's timing with the wolves! Perfect! And now there are a lot of headhunters. What a god move! Sometimes it's just two wolves ruin a game. Destro in trouble needs to be coiled, but it's like a 180 degree headhunter army. These ghouls are melting, aren't they? TC still has mana, Shadow Hunter as well. And he's with the back against the shop. A little bit of a reposition. Headhunters on the left hand side. Ghoul switching targets. And the statue is overwhelming. Uh, not overwhelming, but constantly regening. As they should. Level 4. Hello, level 2 chain lightning. Headhunters. All about headhunters. Speed scroll mana potion as well. These ghouls are gone. All of them. No expo. No second crypt, no mana anymore. Neck and neck fight, man. This is so close. Shadow Hunter waiting for the level up. And it's again how much damage three undead heroes can do with statues in their back. But now we got double orb. And a retreat against double orb is tough because it can trigger at all times. And the proc is, of course, happening against statues all the time. Hello, level 4. What a game again. What a sick chuck of war again. This time, no wolves at the expo. Lich is getting another kill. The amount of mana these statues are providing is out of this world. Happy is reclaiming this game. Expo is up. And Lin is so, so, so hurt without mana on the Shadow Hunter. Trying to get the necessary points. Who for the heal wave? He got the mana for Hex. This spell didn't work. He, do, did he get the heal scroll? Oh, yes, he did. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the saving grace. Still no raiders, no utility, no Kodo. It's only damage. And the Destro barely can move. He has to be so careful and conservative with mana so he can't use Hex whenever the DK wants to coil. You can't coil statues, of course. How many units are falling in this series? Stomp again with the healer. Oh, doesn't have heal, actually. And he's also far away from the statues. Did Lin build a macro for building headhunters? Like, he's not missing one round of production. But Happy has mana again. This is the scary part. Call Nova online. Shadowhunter has no healing and the heal scroll is gone as well. 
this fight again lasting three, four, five minutes. So exhausting. But happy on two bases. About 50-50. TC close to three. There's still a lot of camps on the map. We'll get high level heroes here. Ooh, true. Happy is supply blocked. Lin as well, but happy not for much longer. Seventeen minutes in. Big push. Wolves are distracting, but that's it. That's just a distraction. When Happy wants this W, wants to force Game 7. I mean, we're getting Game 7 anyway, but he wants to reclaim the throne. Book of the Dead by Happy, realizing there's no dispel. Yo, that's a lot of skeletons. That's too many skeletons. The Night King has arrived. And there's no Arya. This is such a huge lead. But once the Destros fall, this might swing. But is there... Is it too much? Ah, it's too much. Oh my god! Again, a Book of the Dead, just like in the World Series, used to pretty much perfection. And we have a tied series at the seventh game. We told you when the score was 3-1 that this is happy. And happy turns series around. It doesn't matter if it's 2-3, 1-3, Happy doing happy things. And a very typical happy thing is comebacks. Everything will be decided on autumn leaves. And that is oftentimes the case between these two. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Happy just got the show cup thrown yesterday. In his return versus fly. Does he have to give it up? Can Lin find a way back? Are they getting tired? The last series was a 3 and 1 for Happy. Before that, 0 th uh, 3 for Happy. Ted Cup semi final was a win for Lin in a best of five with 3 to 2 on Autumn Leaves. And I guess fly is also. Going for a little break. I queue some ads so we don't have that while the game is running. But we stay here. We stay here. Where are the War 3 Champions donations? Exclamation mark W3C Finals or W3C Finals dot back to Warcraft dot com. The series has been absolutely incredible. 100% correct. You couldn't be more correct than this one. This is just nuts. And yeah, since ping is once again a discussion, we have to reiterate. We have a new tool, the ping equalizer. The ping is perfectly balanced at 92. For both players, it doesn't get more even than this. And below 100 is always very playable. That is also in-game ping, not lobby ping. So server discussion is over. And our game starts. 
Happy versus Lin, the final ride. Ping equalizer enabled. Map is started. And we move on. The decider. Game seven. Is anybody getting tired? Will there be any mistakes? Or will it be a clean game as we've seen before? These guys are operating on the highest level of Warcraft that we've seen in a long, 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 long time. Especially in this matchup versus Happy. So in paved the way. But Soen also displayed Blade Master Headhunters are possible. Is that a thing? I don't think so. Oof, high stakes. The highest stakes. Show Cup was a huge part of Happy's income throughout the entire year, winning this thing 49 times. But Lin, he wants the throne for the first time. Oh, there it is. There it is, boys. In the last map, after six fast years in a row, we have him. The Blade Master. What a chat. This is a big switch in playstyles. This means no chain lightning. This means big red numbers though. If this works, I think we've we've seen this build before prior to this and last week. Lin played it on ladder, Grubby played it on streams. But Soin showed us all that it's possible on the highest level in his match versus 120. And 120 was befuddled. Couldn't catch up with this at all. But there's game tape. And one knows a player's forces are that this is a possibility. Happy scouted this. Happy sees it. Happy has no dust, though. Little too late. Also, the item goes to Happy. How much can he steal? Lin's Blade Master, the best. In the biz? Not yet, though. That's a steal. Yeah, he needed something. An instant pressure. Would probably force dust. Would probably force an arrow. No reaction just yet. Just a fast tackle on Lin's side. With these headhunters early for the... Uh, almost even tech. Tech advantages are very, very, very different now. Blade is around again. Happy skipping dust once more. The big creep is gone. He can still go for the wolves. Did he not get it? No, right? Ooh, that was close. Wow, he's able to play perfectly around an Invis Blade Master. <laughs> Why am I surprised? Thank you, Smoke Coalition, for the two-month resub. Go, Lin, go! Twelve month. Congrats, that full year. A player's forces are under attack. This is not the greatest Blade Master opening. And there's no wolves to fear. <sighs> Another windwalk force. That's the second last one. Is Linda's getting overwhelmed? Is is this Blade Master style not elaborate enough for him to play? It's a very, very different game, and it feels like Happy is very confident against this, too. Headhunter damage thrown into the mix. Uh, Happy saves this grunt. This one can't be uh, saved. No healing, obviously. Full in, but the trades look fine. Even gets this one. Oh boy. A lot of units about to fall. It's getting chaotic. 
have to operate on like two to three screens to get the best use of it. That's another call, that's another kill. But Blade Mask is getting closer to level two. He has dust now. These units are safe. What the hell? Okay, odd movement. That's a lot of headhunters down again. I feel like that's too many headhunters down again. Three or so? Blade Master not pimped at all. It's slow now. This is also pretty, uh, a bit unfortunate. Oh, wow. Happy wakes up the creeps for the end snare. Dark Rangers here. This game is a total disaster. The blade looked so strong in the hands of Soin versus 1 to 0. But not here, not at all. This is a demonstration of force. Happy wipes Lin off the map so far. This is a very anticlimactic game seven. It requires a sick comeback already. Six minutes in the game. Ah, Blade stole this one. At least he got that. Never lasted. Next. So at least the DK didn't get XP. But Lin's Shadowhunter play with early hexes. <gasps> Blade! The shop is not up. Not necessarily this game, but throughout the past two to three maps, Lynch's aggressive Shadowhunter play is questionable. Here, I guess it's a necessity because he's so far behind, he has to get something done. We reveal it perfectly. Oh, of course. And tier three on the way. Lynch surpassed him in tech. Necessary for orbs and probably just a tiny again. And we still has a lot of ghouls, right? Yep, you can creep at the same time. While well, the shop is still contested. This, this creep has to go to Lin. His shadow hunter is under leveled already. And it does, plus a claw. Okay, we're gearing up that Blade Master. We need a lot more like this. And this was again a little too easy. That one loss on Echo Isles, it feels like it broke Lin to a degree. That was a lucky crit, you know. Lin Sane Sword, you know it. Critical. Players' forces are under attack. It is the tiny play. And that is something he absolutely has to go for. Happy charging up. Again, goal number one, level three Dark Ranger now. Scroll of the Beast. No dispel. Very unlucky. Plus seven armor is not what a blade master wants, what a blade master needs. Yep, he's just preparing a counter expansion. Yep. Scouting, positioning. And all the answers are pretty much perfect. At least he will unlock a level three blade master, but his second base is in a world of trouble. Lin is in a world of trouble. Lich is out. He's still not finished with this camp. Guru killed. Shop killed. And that's a lot of ghouls and skeletons. And he will raise more thanks to the peons available. TC isn't on the map yet. Raiders aren't on the map yet. Shadowhunter isn't level 3. He got the boots of Keltalas. But he's giving up that tiny. He wants to play it one base, one base from here on out. This is a huge win for Happy, obviously. Lin puts his faith 
into the hands of the blade master. Key ward, nice. He knows he's not competitive without these levels. But how do you heal now? Happy Expo is coming. Shop down again prior to orb, I guess. TC! <gasps> Just inches away! No orb of lightning, no potions! Oh my god, the TC is just getting deleted from this game. Ghouls are getting plus three now. Blade Master is exposed and he can't heal except Shadow Hunter, but only for so long. X! Can he commit? Can he commit? The credit is dead! TP last second! Lin lives! For now. But he has to realize this is happening. A player's forces are under attack. He was really, really close. But he's still missing so much. It is level 2 crits. The next two level ups for Blade and Shadowhunter are really not that important. He's still creeping though. TC needs the... At least one ring. One ring to survive it all. And Happy's levels are scary. Lich does a ton of damage. Frost armor, right? Must be. <gasps> Creep check again at the red. Happy doesn't have to do this. But Lin has no way out. Endurance are up. Okay, nice to have, I guess. But it's not the item he wanted. Double silence on two of the three heroes. Shadow Hunter has nothing. No mana, no item. There's no way out of this situation. Lin has to hope that he gets 500 million crits in a row. And then he's competitive. But we're raising the dead, we're killing the headhunters, and Happy is getting closer and closer to winning three games in a row. Frost Armor, the saving grace. Nuke is inbound, but this time we have a greater healing. Lin again survives, but he's down a base. He's down in levels. The greed. Yeah, how good would this be with an Orb of Lightning now? Rise, thank you for the 45 month resub. Hype! Some people probably thought this series is over when Lin took the 3 1. But it's never over when your opponent is happy. The fact that Lin is still alive is pretty admirable and that he's fighting and that he's putting on his show. It's looking real grim. He needs all your energy out there. All the Lin fans energy. Oh, Destroyer saw this. And Lin is on alert. Another fight with barely any consumables. We have a TC in Will Potion. Needs to stop. Goes to the back line right away. Headhunter dead. That orb now has to carry. And these crits have to carry. We have no Banshees in Happy's arsenal just yet. But it takes a long time to get that destroyer out of the air. And it's a 10 supply lead. Plus the skeletons. All in the hands of the blade. Takes out the longevity of this fight by attacking with 150 crit these st statues but just look at it the blade master is dictating the fight for now but I'd not be surprised to see a temple of the damned very 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 soon 4.5 blade we are waiting for level 3 crit this is doable 
Also, Shadowhunter decently leveled, TC underleveled though. Yeah, right, there weren't too many crits. It was just like one backstab and that's it. Quite surprised to see Happy with all these resources. Not going for a temple nor a sacrificial skull. Pit for shade. That's the last bit of Windwalk. Plus 16 damage is okay, but the DK is very tanky. The Lich has Frost Armor to work with. There's circlets on both heroes. There's almost no way to level. Prince Jon Snow, thank you for the five month reset. Back to Warcraft, you are amazing. Thanks for the entertainment. Thank you for watching and supporting. Happy is making double and triple sure that there is no expansion in the upper left. And he's muscling up. 69 supply. Nice. Can a Blade Master and a Dream make up for 20 supply? He has a Tally Staff. But oh my god. This push is so scary. And there's no level 2 stomp. There is a bit of end snare. Blade Master is still attacking these acolytes here. Can he reach level 5 with this? I doubt it. Lin hiding behind his buildings. Thank you, your dad beat that for the 15 month resub. 4.8. Ah, he's still 100 XP away. He's buying time and evens the economy for a bit, but on the cost of a shop, of the barracks. There's no second barracks, so headhunters are dead. Oh, Blade Master needs healing right now. Onto the Lich. Hex, silence, there must be a coil. And there is, there's also an invul. Blade Master Nuke. He still holds on to the greater healing. Got it now. Headhunters seem pretty well protected and happy abandons this push. As the shop is back up. But he's also replenishing that second base in no time. Dude, Happy has so many options to still improve. But that hold was pretty crazy. And he, the problem now, he can't rebuild Headhunters. And that Rax is expensive. <laughs> and of course, Happy has a spare ghoul to scout for the movement. Another tiny. If this works, we might have a game. Maybe? A town is under siege. That's a huge if, though. Happy, of course, knows. More ghouls. Soon to see 70 pop. Tiny is the only chance. I totally get that. Happy pounces on this base before this is paid off. 165 crit, 159 crit. That's level 5 and level 3. Massive upgrades for Lin. Is that the key to holding this and make this a two-base, two-base game? I kind of doubt it because the ghouls are destroying absolutely everything. 180 crit. There is two destroyers for instant dispel against the possible hex. Shop is up. Needs it soon. Healing as well. Mm, there is an info potion on the TC for whenever he needs that stomp. But he is also a big necessity for a heal potion and mana potions. TC is kind of safe. Blade Master getting safer. So many skeletons again. That big bull is soaking up damage. But there's no income anymore. No second income at least. 20 minutes in the game. For the title of Show Cup. For the championship, another mana potion. Kodo in the fight for the damage boost. Plus 21. This is the storm. There can't be a coil right now. But the duration is, I guess, not long enough. No. And the ghouls surround one unit after the next. This is literally a, it's basically a blade master and the dream. Shadowhunter so far away. He disables the ghoul. 
but what's next? 38 supply only, and Happy has a thousand gold. This looks like it's unrecoverable for Lin. After such a phenomenal start into the series, he's throwing everything. Everything at the kitchen sink at Happy. This has to work, but how? There's the TP. There's 256 critical strike, but it's not nearly enough because it. Uh, Avada Kedavra doesn't work, but it's game anyway. Happy defeats Lin three times in a row. And this is no new champion, even with three match points. It was not enough. It was not enough for this. Not for this beast that is happy. You can just admire his mental fortitude to not crack under the pressure of facing the best orc in the world with a 1-3 to three situation. By being pretty much dominated in some of these maps, in fights especially. And then... Using the one opening that Lin got him on Aquiles in the bottom right and from there on out, it was the happy show. No nerves, no fatigue, just the right counters. And Lin couldn't hold up the level of play from the first three to four maps. And was beat. Two mistakes. Pretty clear the one on Aquiles and the creep on Northern Isles. Where Happy just he tore him apart. Absolutely tore him apart. Congrats to Happy. He will stay on the throne of Show Cup. We will see more Happy Show games. I'm not too sure who the next opponent is and when the next Show Cup is. But of course, we'll keep you up to date on our homepage and our socials. Um, now, we will raid uh, Sparta because he's doing a charity run and I hope you guys can support him a little bit but speaking of support one thing has to be mentioned first we are gathering funds for the war 3 champions final season 12 everybody starting next Saturday and we want of course to reward our 16 brave warriors who made it into the season 12 finals currently there's $1,030 this was a huge donation by Kleine Schildpad, who is just the freaking greatest at the moment. Metal Baron with the $20 and Fishy, aka W3 History, with $10 as well. Much, much appreciated, but this number needs to rise high. And of course, if you want to support us, there's a lot of possibilities as well. We got a Patreon going on. You can subscribe here on Twitch. You can get a YouTube membership, which is basically the YouTube equivalent to the Twitch sub. You can donate to us via Streamlabs and uh, one up, I think it's called. One up coin, exactly. If you have crypto, uh, cryptocurrency left over. We also got merchandise and we are sponsored by four awesome companies. That is A, Corsair, the hardware award winning man yeah, the the esports award winning hardware manufacturer of the year there we go game better game together we are also raising funds with corsair currently for make a wish that donation care uh, that uh campaign can be found at exclamation mark corsair cup me and carson will play with artosis on november 10 the legendary starcraft streamer artosis in a fall guys tournament against some other plebs from the core no it's not plebs they're great content creators but you know they're variety streamers and we are rts elite so we're gonna smash them uh we're also powered by huel my breakfast every single morning great taste great nutrition go grab that huel also uh holy not only holy energy but also holy iced tea can also be used as the regular tea, by the way, now that things are getting colder. So if you want a replacement for the regular energy drinks, then we got many, many, many great uh, tasting flavors for you over at Holy Squad. And also Total AV, if you want to protect your computers and devices in general, this works for uh, normal desktops, for PC, for Mac. This works for your phone. It works everywhere. Total AV. You get a huge discount if you click our link. It's an 80% discount on the Total AV subscription. Antivirus, anti malware, real time protection, ad block, VPN, etc., etc., etc. All on Total AV. 
check them out. And now we're raiding Sparta. And if you allow me uh, to be a little uh, personal here, Sparta is doing a fundraiser. Um, and I will check the link real quick because he has a great lineup and it's a great cause. Uh, nope, not translate tweet. There we go. On to the tweet. It is a great cause. Sparta, one of the uh, best and nicest and most valued German streamers. Does it here? It's called Champs for Charity Against Depression or uh, Raising Funds for an initiative that wants to help people with depression and uh, destigmatize it. We got Flutschi versus Pishna in the best of seven. We got Armin versus Hippo in the best of seven. Kevin versus Side as the best of seven. Co casters by Fishy, Nasa, and many, many more. Uh, you can find all the information here at that tiny URL. And of course, we're in the Warcraft scene. And also here at Back to Warcraft, we are affected by this. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful course by Sparta. The campaign is over at betterplace.org. Many people have donated already. We're at 693. This is looking good, but this uh, can be even better. It goes towards the European Alliance Against Depression. And it's a great cause, as I said, many people are affected by this in the Warcraft community, in the internet uh, community in general. The internet community sounds bad, but you know what I mean, online. Um, so if you're affected by this or if you know someone, I guess these days everybody uh, knows someone, you might be aware that this uh, is an important cause. And so we will all raid Sparta now. And I hope you send him lots of love from the Back to Warcraft uh, community. B2W hearts in the chat. Have fun with the show matches. Have fun with the casters. And if you have a dollar or two left over, every single dollar counts. And it's for a good cause. So even if you're just watching, maybe you can spread the word. That might help. Um, shout out to everybody tuning in today. Off to Sparta. Wait for the raid and then B2W hard in the chat to support Good old Sparta. Uh, have a wonderful Sunday, everybody. We'll see each other soon. Tuesday is AWL, where we have the semifinals. I will be there casting for you on Africa TV. So now, peace out. Bye-bye.